Ken Kaplan, the New England Motorcycle Museum, just demonstrating this awesome Hodaka combat, combat Wombat. Did you catch that mad wheelie coming up the driveway? I'm 250 pounds, a single wheelie, all the way up the street. Hauls the mail. These old two strokes are twice as powerful as the four strokes, so it's got a lot of horsepower and a lot of torque, and it's a lot of fun to ride. This particular bike here is uh, 1973. That makes it uh, 40, what, 43 years old, and it runs mint. Nothing like two-stroke in the morning. It smells so good. Better than coffee. I'll tell you what, these old two-strokes are a hoot. This is a 1973 Combat Wombat. It's a rare, rare machine. Uh, it's made by Pivotco. That's a Pacific Basin trading company. It's a lightweight racing model, a 125. This is a bike that would have competed with the Honda Elsinore 125. Matter of fact, I'm 50 years old. And when I was a kid, I used to race a Suzuki TM100 against uh, Hodaka uh, 100, and uh, they're very comparable in uh, speed and horsepower. I believe these are a little bit higher quality than the Japanese uh, Hondas, and uh, just based on, on the way they survive, the fit and finish is a little bit better than you would get on a Kawasaki or a Honda or a Suzuki. Take a look at this bike. This thing's all original. Has original graphics on this side over here, the Combat Wombat graphics. The uh, tank badge uh, says Pabotco on it. That stands for Pacific Basin Trading Company. Um, chrome, the, one of the coolest features of this bike is it had the chrome gas tank, chrome front fender. It's a steel fender, chrome rear fender. You can see they're in mint condition. Um, it's got a number plate kit on the front, number plate kit on the sides. Expansion chamber is in mint shape. There's no, no dents on the expansion chamber, no rust. The frame's in mint shape. There's no dings or dents on the frame rail. The pegs are perfectly straight. The rubber on the foot brake is perfect. The uh, rear brakes look like they've never even been adjusted. Has original DID aluminum style rims. 21 inch front, 18 inch rear, of course. Um, just a fantastic bike. Again, I'm 250 pounds. I just went ripping down the street on this thing. This thing bangs wheelies first, second, and third gear. Just wheelied all the way up the hill. It's uh, kind of pipey, it's a two-stroke. Um, it's got a lot of power and it's a lot of fun to ride. It has original shocks on it, original forks. You can see the, the uh, finish on the forks it is in mint shape. The polish of chrome. The chrome on the forks is mint. The rims are nice and straight. The engine cases are in excellent condition. Just a fantastic bike. Um, doesn't leak oil anywhere. Uh, it's got the original carburetor, Makuni carburetor. Five-speed transmission, chain and sprockets are in mint condition, and uh, it's a hoop to ride. It really is absolute glass. Has the original seat cover on it, as you can see. It says on the back here. Um, it's a beautiful machine. All the threads are nice on it, and it's got the cool Combat Wombat logo. One of the things I like about Hodaka is they had the Combat Wombat, they had the Road Toad, they had the Dirt Squirt. It's a fantastic machine. Uh, if you have any questions about this bike, give me a call at 860-916-9784. All proceeds from the sale of this motorcycle go to the New England Motorcycle Museum. We're here New Year's Eve doing a, a motorcycle video and sale marathon. We're trying to raise a quarter million dollars to finish the museum. Check us out online. It's all going to a great cause. We're a 5013C nonprofit. If you have any questions, again, call me. Good luck bidding. God bless and Happy New Year.